I've had a couple of new uh, torches sent me by a company called Science Guy from uh, China. Um, the first one is the Science Guy P25 version 2 uh, flashlight. Um, supposedly very good from what I've seen on different videos. I'll uh, get it out of the box. Let's see what's in the box. So, uh, Put out the box and in the box we have packaging, a flashlight in the front, comes out, uh, probably about well, five, five and a half, six inches long, um, got a tail button at the end to turn it on and a function button here on the top the different uh, brightnesses. Uh, looking at it, it's got uh, three levels, so it's got low, medium, high, and it has a boost level, which is like a turbo level, which looks really, really bright. Very good. It also has a memory function as well. That is your Morse code. Should all be good. Um, we'll take it outside in a little while and try it out. It also comes with instruction manual and its values basically it is in English and in Chinese. But as you can see, just to have a look. Um, it's also equal code power and it also comes with a warranty card. Right, um, we'll take this one outside and uh, we'll see what it's like. Right, we're out in the back garden now. It's not totally black, but it's not bad. bad. My garden's probably 30 to 35 feet long. There is a factory at the back, which is probably 200 to 300 feet away. So we'll see what it performs like. So this uh, P25 version 2, that's on low, which yeah, reasonable, not bad at all. Lights the garden up well, picks the shit out at the back. Um, on to medium, yeah, again, good light, be alright for dog walking or whatever. On to high, high light in the whole garden now. This, this uh, beam is really good. Uh, you can pick the factory out at the back there, put it on to uh, turbo, turbo, oh. There you go, lighting the whole garden up. That's really good. And the factory at the back, as you can just make out. Well impressed with that, really impressed. It does get quite warm, but uh, not too bad. Also, in the bag, it comes with, in the box, is a charging cable, uh, a C-type one. It also comes with a uh, what's that? That looks like a, a clip, like a pen clip. In there, yeah, it does. It, it comes with it comes with a pen clip, um, a spare button for the tail couple of O-rings, um, a lanyard, like I say, a clip for uh, like a pen clip or pocket clip. And it also comes with a really handy uh, bag to keep in like a case, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, put it on your belt and it will keep it pretty safe in there. One of the better ones, it's a good snipe type snug fit as well, so that's really good. So 
guys at uh, Science Guy have also sent me this. Uh, basically, it's a head torch, the HS7R, um, which has a flood and also a uh, normal beam on it. Um, it comes uh, in the box, in the box it comes really well packaged um, as you can see. The light itself is on a broad um, harness but it also comes off the harness so you can actually use it as a hand torch as well. Um, this one you can charge um, at the back there or you can actually take the battery out both this and the uh, P25 you can charge the batteries um, there is a charge port I don't know if you can see there on the battery um, both these can be charged like that or this light can be charged like I say through the charge port there it's also got a magnet on it which really really strong it's got a button on the end there which basically cycles through it so press that button there hold it in for a second that is your beam varying brightnesses so that's got three so low medium high and turbo that down to low and also there you have the button for the flood so that is the flood um, and that's the same as you can see three levels on that we'll go outside and try this in a minute turn the tail light off there also it comes in the box there is really good idea charging cable also comes with a little bag net bag to carry it in instructions a card for the warranty which is the same as a five year warranty um, the instructions again if you look it just uh, tells you about it and its uh, powers and everything else so according to this um, 2000 lumens on the turbo on the floodlight and on the spotlight it's 2800 lumens which is really really good. That's this uh, HS seven R outside. So same test again. Try it on the uh, spot first. So that's low, which isn't bad. That's medium. That's high, and that's turbo. As you can see lights that building up back there and it actually gives quite a good flood on spot as well lights the whole garden up so we'll turn that off and we'll try the uh, <coughs> flood light now so that's low that's medium that's high and I think that is turbo yeah medium high turbo which yeah it's quite a good flood lights the building up at the back quite well lights the garden up yeah I'm really impressed with that really impressed headband it comes with is actually quite comfortable wear as well it's, it's with it being quite wide it's not uh, it doesn't dig in at all now i should be i should obviously be doctoring this a little bit because uh, i should take the top strap off because it's going to fit on my uh, caving helmet for underground exploration I will uh, take that off and uh, just put it on my helmet if it is really looking forward to trying these lights out I'm really really impressed with what I've seen and 
thanks to Simone for sending me from uh, from Science Guy also <laughs> nice little touch a nice velcro patch which will go on my uh, rucksack which is really cool there's three of these which I'm really impressed and shipping to the UK from Hong Kong literally took four days so I'm mega impressed with that right thanks for watching and uh, thanks to science guy for sending me these uh, really really good torches out <laughs>